Are you as much of a fan of the Belgian Queen Mathilda as we are? Here are 12 interesting and little-known facts about her, but sadly also one that involved a tragic accident. Welcome to Life of Royals. If you want to stay informed of all the news about our royals, be sure to subscribe to our channel and already give this video a thumbs up. Mathilda was barely five months old when she could already count on a loyal bodyguard. When a new babysitter arrived, the family's German Shepherd dog put his paw on five-month-old Mathilda. The loyal dog did not want the newcomer to touch his owner. Mathilda grew up in Wallonia, the French-speaking part of Belgium. To improve her skills in Dutch, the country's second official language, her parents sent her to a farm for a language immersion at the age of 13. At school, Mathilda was praised as a model student, but she continued to struggle with Dutch. Former classmates of the Belgian Queen Mathilda testify about what it was like to go to school with the girl of nobility. Her classmates especially remember her blue pleated skirt and the dark shoes, white socks, and white blouse that she always wore. Mathilda never flaunted her origins, but she was a bit of a prude. Her former teachers describe her as a disciplined and distinguished model pupil. As queen, Mathilda is often praised for her fashionable clothing style. She also passed on her talent for fashion to her daughter, the Belgian crown princess Elizabeth. But did you know that Mathilda prefers to walk around in jeans and sneakers at home? Another little secret about Queen Mathilda is that she loves chocolate. Not surprising since Belgians know what good chocolate is. Belgium has the best chocolate in the world, emphasizes Queen Mathilda. So we might as well enjoy that. In moderation, that is. And that should certainly include a cup of coffee. This way the cocoa comes into its own even more, King Philippe's wife shares a culinary tip. Besides chocolate, Belgium's Queen Mathilda also loves fashion house Natan immensely. I see her on average once a week, for example to try on new clothes or have old ones altered, says Natan's designer Edouard Vermeulen. And almost as often, the designer goes with a seamstress to the castle of Lochin where Mathilda lives. During her wedding in 1999, Mathilda wore a wedding dress from Natan and since then the fashion house has also broken through internationally. We can add another fun fact about that marriage, by the way. A painful fact, that is. What is for many the most beautiful day of their lives was a real Calvary ordeal for the Belgian Queen Mathilda. She experienced a painful pedicure, had to carry a bridal bouquet weighing no less than eight kilos and the dozens of hairpins from her diadem, veil, and hairdo hurt her to the point of bleeding. But hey, they lived happily ever after. Did you know that Mathilda is the strict parent in the family? The Belgian King Philippe dares to give his children some freedom. He allows them to do things that I don't allow, Queen Mathilda admits. Then they are over the moon. Although Mathilda sometimes allows this, because the Queen also thinks it is important that they have a good relationship with their father. As Queen of Belgium, Mathilda is known all over the world, but Mathilda was a noble unknown when the first rumors appeared that the then Crown Prince Philippe was in a relationship. The press did not have a single photo of Mathilda at that time. Mathilda was reading in a library when she heard on the radio that Philippe might be in a relationship. With her. Philippe was already 39 years old when, out of the blue, he introduced Mathilda as his fiancée. But how the couple met remains a secret up to this day. But the couple did become immensely happy together and had four children. 
and Queen Mathilda emphasized during an interview with a young girl that she is not always queen. At home, she is first and foremost a wife and mother. When the children of King Philippe and Queen Mathilda were younger, Mathilda made sure that she could get home in time to take care of the children after school. Why hire a nanny if you can do it yourself? And we have another clear example of how Queen Mathilda behaves as a mother. The Belgian queen believes it is important that her four children are treated equally. When the press asked about Crown Princess Elizabeth's report card, Mathilda immediately emphasized that all her children received good marks. As if to say, I am also the mother of Gabriel, Emmanuel, and Eleanor. And so we learned a lot about the Belgian Queen Mathilda with those eleven previous facts. What a fantastic woman, wife, and mother. But as announced in the introduction, we also have a less pleasant fact about Queen Mathilda's past. In 1997, Queen Mathilda lost her sister Marie Alex in a terrible car accident. Marie Alex lost her life in a traffic accident in which their grandmother also passed away. The grief never wears off, Mathilda said in one of the rare times she spoke about the accident. It's obvious that we all have our cross to bear. Give this video a thumbs up if you find Queen Mathilda a fascinating person and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all the news about our royals.